Welcome back to another video here at Coyote Classics. Uh, this morning we're going to be checking out uh, one of my favorite cars we have in our inventory right now, and that is this 1971 uh, Chevelle Malibu convertible. The paint is absolutely gorgeous on it. The cranberry red with the black Super Sport stripes. Fired up. Here's one thing I love, the 71 Chevelles with the, uh, the, dual turn, the dual turn signals on there. That's one way you can tell the difference between a 71 and 72. The 71 have that uh, really iconic uh, turn signals. A bumper, headlight chrome, grill, everything as far as the stainless and chrome on this thing is brand new. I'm guessing the restoration on this is probably about five years old if I had a guess. Tell about under the hood a little bit. Under the hood is a freaking sleeper. It's a numbers matching 307, two barrel car from the factory that uh, the previous owner had completely built. Uh, the built 307 now cammed up a little bit and this son of a gun will yeah. grill the tires and uh, do everything you want it to I do. I think I've asked you three times, are you sure that's a 307? Are you sure that's a 307? Because when you drive it, it's Roast the tires, that's quick. Yeah, you know, it is quick, really and uh, it, uh, the dual exhaust on this thing makes it sound like a big block. I mean, it's got a great dual exhaust sound to it. So it is a numbers matching 307, built up. And uh, the nice thing is backed up by a four-speed automatic transmission. Yeah. So this thing uh, goes down the road awesome. an awesome rumble, doesn't it? That sounds like a big block back there. It does, it really does. So it's got the stock manifold, it's really stock appearance except for that 350 to 325 horsepower sticker on the air cleaner. Um, inner fenders and stuff like that are really nice, just a nice restoration. I uh, can go to our website, uh, see the undercarriage, coyoteclassics.com, very solid frame as well. And we bought, maybe it was a year ago, a 72 Chevelle blue white stripes had the LS3 in it, and the built by the same guy. Yeah. You know, so the guy knows Chevelles and it is really quality work. Yeah, very nice quality car. And beautiful interior on this one as well. So. This car was driven. So, I mean, you got a couple little chips. I mean, there's a tiny little chip here from the, uh, from the um, hood pin cord. Another one right here, just very, very minor. It's got a couple little paint imperfections in it. Right here. But still, uh, still, in my opinion, a definite show quality car. You can take it to any car show and be super proud of this thing. It's got the uh, wheel well trim. It's got the polyglass tires on it, the 15 inch. Um, rally wheels. Fantastic look. I mean, this thing looks bone stock. Back part of the hood here sticks up just a little bit, not bad at all. Uh, top of the fender, top of the door all lines up really nice. Nice gap from top to bottom. No bubbles or blisters that I can see anywhere here. Uh, really nice gap, the way this door fits into this back quarter is fantastic as well. Does have the nice parade boot. All new felts and rubbers. Uh, you can tell the quality of the restoration is beautiful. They painted the car, the doors, fenders, everything off. I mean, the door jam paint is just as nice as the paint on the outside of the car. And the interior, I have to give that about a, probably a nine, nine and a half as well. The inside is absolutely show quality. SS door panels, armrests, bases, pads, rubbers, felts. I mean, everything's excellent on it. Get the dual GM stickers, all the bumpers, felt, dual chrome mirrors. So I don't see any other colors anywhere in the door jams. I mean, the paint's excellent. Dash pad is perfect, power top. Works really nice as well, goes up nice and even. And here's the, one of my favorite things about the car. They went ahead and put a super expensive top on it. It's kind of that um, cloth appearance top, kind of like a new Corvette or new Camaro would have. And it does have the um, nice back window in it as well. So 
many times the factory switches and stuff go bad and they don't replace them with the new ones. Uh, it's got the SS gauges in it as well. AM, FM, digital radio. Um, when they went ahead and did that 700R4 in here, they went ahead and did the console correct as well. New vents. Dash, dash pad was all replaced. It's got the Chevelle floor mats. Uh, new seat covers, front and back. Door panels are all new. Windows go up really smooth. Um, door handles have been replaced, all new rubbers there. It's a great looking top, isn't it? Yeah, once I get this side down. Nice dual exhaust tips. Back bumper has been replaced. The paint on this car just shines beautifully. Like I said, buffed out to a show quality shine. Bumper's new. Very straight body. Um, it does have one scratch right here that needs to be touched up. Right here. Very thin scratch, but it is there. It's got one little tiny outward ding right here from the in something from the inside of the trunk. Very small. Um, over the wheel well is perfect. The bottom corner of the door lines up great as well. Really nice gap here as far as on the top. Got a little tiny paint chip right here. Panel's excellent. Again, door jam paint's really nice. Um, seat chrome was replaced. I mean, there's, I don't see anywhere, anywhere on any of the seat cords. The headrests are beautiful. It's a really nice interior. Um, when they did that uh, stereo system here, ahead and did the uh, kick panels with the speakers in them very nicely done idling about 600 to 700 rpm factory tack works all the gauges are beautiful it's got 69,895 miles on the odometer Whoa. Jeez, holy smokes. It's a little loud if you don't if you have the volume all the way up. Yes, on online shopping. It's got a sub and an amp in the back. Nice. I'm um, in the trunk, so. Great, great car. It just rumbles. Oh, it's an awesome car. Very, very good quality. Um, some of the the top right here, the, as far as the gap goes, is something that I'll have to adjust sometime down the road. But it's kind of the same thing right here, just that little bit in that corner. Yeah, both corners here. It's got all the right shift indicators in there yeah. for the force. Console's brand new, it's really nice as well. It's got the right steering wheel too. Um, Horn does not work. Other than that, everything else is working great on this car. Another thing to mention, we drove this car home over 100, 140 miles. That's so one of our drivers drove it home, so. Like that, it puts you right back in the seat and just throws the tires. And it serves them in second. Yeah, it's a fantastic car. And that's why I had to ask you three times if it was a 307. <laughs> it's really, it's a super cool car. So as far as our uh, brakes, they stop perfect as well. Usually, as soon as you hear that, it's like, oh, you know, it's probably gutless. It does sound cool. Yeah, it does. Spin it up all the way. It freaking goes, dude. 65 mile an hour just like that. So, kick down works nice, drive straight. It's a really good car. Yeah, it is. You know, even with those little spots.
stops right there in those two corners, those are all new routers and stuff. But you know what? It's, it's not loud in here. No. Now. And that kind of comes with, especially, I mean, really any convertible. You take a brand new convertible through a car wash, they're not watertight. No. You know, and especially an old car, you're going to have a little wind noise. I got to brag about this a little bit. The guy knew really what he was doing um, when he put that four speed automatic. We're doing 65 mile an hour and we're running 1600 RPM. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. Especially in today's gas prices. Yeah. $5 gas. <laughs> yeah, this See, that's why I kept the 307. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> and built that. Well, this number's matching. It's really cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Brakes are perfect. They don't pull left or right. Turn signal indicator works on the dash. Sweet God. brakes and their power and they stop great yeah it's a sweet one definitely go ahead and check this one out on the website coyoteclassics.com we'll be glad you did